Hey there, I just wanted to do a quick little follow-up to the uh, video to show this working. Um, also, I added a, a death spawn object. Uh, basically, I added this new script. It's called destroy me. Not script, but function. So this right here is the death spawn. So if the death spawn is null, so if you forget to add something, it's just going to destroy this game object. Otherwise, going to instantiate a death spawn object at whatever this is attached to, position, and rotation. So it'll instantiate that and then it'll immediately destroy this particular game object. Um, and you can see I've added it. So down here in the inspector you would just drag it um, under the damage receiver. I just dragged it there. So if I hit play, I'll show you both of these real quick so that you can see them in action on this terrain using rain and uh, UFPS. Alright, so you can see they're walking. I'm going to shoot one of them. And you can see they exploded. And then this other guy is going to come up to me. See, he's following me on the terrain. I'm going to stand here, he's going to hit me and I'm going to die. There you go. So you see it works. Um, now I don't have any weapons so I can't do anything. But basically he walks around and follows the... I set up a path and a network, uh, a path and a, a route on this, you know, terrain that I created. Um, and see he's kind of wandering right now and just moving around. Alrighty, I hope that uh, that helps, and sorry I couldn't get this in my other video, but he'll uh, see if I go far enough away, he stops following me. So you'll just want to set your radius and all that. Um, other options you can do is set another uh, sensor around this guy so that if he's within a different sensor, maybe he does a range weapon versus melee. Um, and there's a bunch of tutorials out there on Rain that show how to do, from Rival Theory, that show how to do the different, uh, they, have, they have some really good examples out there. Alrighty, that's it. Have a good day.